What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Gamer Sunday! Oh my goodness! What do we have going on here? What are we doing today? Coop, he stole your toy? Oh my goodness. Well, that's all right. Today is not about the toys. No, today it's about the treats. So summer officially starts in just three days now here in Florida. It's felt like summer for a while, but I know a lot of you guys have to be very excited for the warm weather and the sunshine and the swimming and things like that. We've got a bunch of cool episodes planned for this summer. Today, we have five summer dog friendly recipes and after we cook them all, obviously we have to do a taste test. What do you think about that, Coop? Is that pretty exciting? And maybe for cats? The first one is going to be a Coke slushy. So I'm gonna freeze beef broth and then regular ice cubes as well. And then later on we'll blend it up and make it like an icy. I guess this is one of those things we could test like with the cat. Broth? Does she like beef broth? She's normally more of a chicken girl, but maybe beef broth. Of course she wants it in a big cup. Oh, well, there's literally some right here. Maybe, maybe not. In it. Maybe not. Yep, she's she's done. All right, our second kind of like dessert preparation, I guess you could say, is gonna involve milk bones. Look at that, Coop. That's you on the side of the box. It looks like you, Coopy. How lovely is that? He's he's very very excited. I'm actually really excited about this. I think this is gonna be one of their favorites, and I this, was is say, this is so, so easy. This is Coop's favorite. This is an ice cream sandwich, so it's just regular Cool Whip, and then I just gently set the next one on top of it, like that. It has to freeze. And then you give it to dogs, right? Oh, it has to freeze, so it's an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, literally the easiest thing you can make, hopefully they turn out pretty cool. I'm a big fan of ice cream sandwiches, so hope for the boys like them too. And a little sampling, see what we think about that. Looks like we're a fan of the ingredients. We'll we'll see if we're a fan of the product. Good girl. So no to beef broth, but yes to cool with. Of course. Okay, while those are freezing, the next three things are kind of like a summer meal. So we're gonna start with the dessert since that has to bake. And that is going to be a doggy strawberry shortcake. Cooper, I need you to preheat the oven to 350. Can you do that? Take your dad and preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven? Okay, he's here. He's not really sure what to do from here, though. 350, Coop. Get your feet off my <laughs> <laughs> He's just a dog. He doesn't know how to preheat it, so I'll do it myself. Okay, so for the strawberry shortcake, obviously we're not gonna use shortcake or devil's food cake, so I'm making a dog cake. And starting with mashing a whole banana. To our banana, we're gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable, or you could do coconut oil. And then we're going to add about a fourth cup of peanut butter. Mix all of this up nice and smooth. And then we're gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour. This is wheat flour, by the way. Yes. More healthy for them than white flour. So wheat flour, and then half a teaspoon of baking powder. One. Two, three. Always make sure you have at least three assistant chefs in the kitchen at all times. Yeah, that's definitely not too many cooks in the kitchen. Now it's time for the egg. Just one. Wow, Koopy, look at this outside. A traditional Florida thunderstorm. What do you think about that? I'm thinking we might have to do a lot of swimming episodes this summer. Just not when it rains. The last thing we added was a half cup of milk. You get kind of like a bit of a pancake batter consistency. And now we're gonna put these into our little cups and put them into bake. Did you really get heart-shaped cups? In my defense, I already owned the heart-shaped cups. I don't know, that might be worse. Look at these, colorful heart-shaped cups. I don't. I feel like strawberry shortcake should be a heart. And then Koopy and I are gonna put these in the oven for 20 minutes. Yeah. They look good? I think so, all right. In they go. And while those in the oven, we are gonna get the strawberries ready. Do you know anyone who likes strawberries? What would happen if you grabbed one of these and then you dropped it? Huh, never even hit the ground. So the snacks are freezing, the dessert is baking, and now it's time to get into the main part of the meal. Think of like a fresh summer meal that you would eat poolside, that's kind of the, the idea we have here. 
These I think I'm the most excited for. I feel like these are a really, really good idea. We're making chicken kebabs, chicken and pepper kebabs, but instead of like a wooden steak or anything, we're gonna use dog treats, bully, stick. bully <laughs> sticks. So it's a dog treat covered in dog treats. That sounds pretty nice. So we slice up the chicken, throw it in the pan, slice your pepper. It actually looks pretty appetizing, Coops. Pretty excited about it too. And last but not least, no summer meal is complete without a fresh, mouth-watering, just refreshing salad. I let you get a whole watermelon to yourself and that's the size of bite you're gonna take. Take, take a good one. Get it, Coda, get it, get it. Okay, this is three bites from Coda. You can hardly even tell he got into it. Let's give Coop one bite. <laughs> I put a little bit of water in here just to kind of break up the yogurt and then this is plain Greek yogurt, no. Flavoring, plain, no sugars, sugar. anything like that. It almost looks like feta cheese. This. If you put some feta in that, little dressing and stuff, I'd really enjoy that. This looks so good. And look at him. He's oh, sitting being a good boy. Definitely not begging at all. Somebody else is kind of guarding a little bit, but close enough that he's ready at any moment. Here we go. All right, so main course, fruit salad and dog-friendly kebabs. I'm curious to see what the winner's gonna be. Looks like Koopa's going for the salad, then he goes for the peppers. Koda's going for the salad to start. I think the salad might be the winner, babe. That's not what I expected. Koopa hasn't even gotten to his chicken yet. He's trying to figure out how this whole kebab thing works. Koda's still working on the salad, and he's picked some of the chicken and stuff off, off the bone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> While all of this is happening, there's a cat up on the kitchen counter. Bella, get down. What do you do? Excuse me. Oh. Now for our dessert. I mean, it's bland. If I was gonna eat it. I'd beef it up, but it's not bad. So we're just gonna take some of these strawberries and drizzle them on. On the count of three, we're racing. Okay. This should be a one chop dessert. One, two, three, go. Good boy! Oh my goodness. I feel like they both succeeded. I think Coop took a little, a little, ah! Maybe he just. Uh, he just over here. <laughs> Coop was like, well, I'll have mine and have yours. I was gonna say Coop took more strawberries with his, but I think he just spread them around more. But I yeah. Think they fell out after he. Very, very good job. She's eating more, more of it. She's combining the strawberries. It's like a sugar free, you don't really taste the peanut butter. Yeah. It's like a sugar-free banana bread, but then if you pull a little strawberry on it, it's like, oh, well, fun. And now it's time for snacks. So typically you wouldn't have extra snacks right after your dinner and dessert, but we'll make, we'll make an exception for this. Look at this. These are frozen beef broth ice cubes. Wow, Koda, what do you think about that? Koda really likes plain ice. I can't even imagine how crazy he's gonna think this is. Look, these are just plain ice. I guarantee you he's still Appreciate them just as much, yeah. Good, good boy. Whoa! <laughs> Coda got scared and Coop got interested. That really does look like kind of a snow cone style thing. I know, now the, I'm gonna flavor it. Why don't we put like strawberries in this and do this for ourselves? We could, That'd be pretty good. Okay. And you've got a beef broth topper. <laughs> oh my God. They are going to go crazy for this. This, I think this might be better than the, uh, the ice cream sandwiches. Wow. This is getting very intense. Oh, he's, trying to bite it. he's just kind of pushing it down and compacting it. He's kind of it. making a nice block. <laughs> on it. He's, he's going to be working at that but, for a while. I mean, on a hot day, that's good. I wasn't anticipating the ice block, but if it keeps him busy for 20 minutes, I'll take it. Koopy, you want to try it? Here we go. Let's see what Koop's strategy is. More licking. I was thinking they might just go ahead and chomp it, but I guess you don't really want to chomp stuff like that. No, I was wondering, do you think dogs get brain freeze? Oh, cool. <laughs> Did you want beef broth on your floors this afternoon? No. Cause that's, that's what we've got. You want Coda's in the background just still, slowly but surely going to town. Oh my goodness, these look amazing. And the Cool Whip actually kind of hardens up a little bit, almost like ice cream. Yeah. Did you know it did that? I didn't know it did that. So we both thought this was gonna be the best thing of the day. It's also the easiest one. Let's see 
how excited they are about it. Good boy. Do not take that to the love sack, puppy. Good boy, yeah. get it, take it. Take the whole thing, take, it's, it take, take, take the, the bone. Take, take the bone. Oh, look at that, split it in half. This is such a nice treat, because you've got a sweet frozen goodness, you've got a crunchiness, you've got familiarity with the milk bone, but also something kind of new and special. Good boy. <laughs> he just completely stretches out. I think we've got a winner here, Charles. I think this is literally the perfect summer snack. We could make 10 of these and just keep them in the freezer yeah. and then just whip them out on a hot day when we need a nice cool snack and we're being extra good boys. You could, oh wow, little bite sized bite, ones? Yeah. That's actually probably better. Obviously, we don't let these boys eat the whole part of everything in this episode. That'd be a lot of food for them, but. I think this one they can enjoy. Nice job, babe. I do want to say, I, was everything just made up in your head? You used a recipe for the, the shortcake yeah. bottom part. But the other ideas I came up with and executed on Wow, that's impressive. I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with them, but. I'm proud of you. So if you guys try any of these, be sure to let us know on Twitter, Instagram, anything like that down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the start to your summers on Tuesday. Like we said, we have a ton of fun stuff playing this summer. Lots of videos involving the water and the lake and things like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.